We're backstage with Cesar Galindo ahead of his Zara collection for fall 2013. There's a blizzard outside, but the show must go on here at New York Fashion Week. Last night you presented the Cesar Galindo collection. This morning it's Zara and there's a blizzard outside. How are you feeling? Actually, you know, while I'm cab right here, I was like, if I could cut a hole in the scene, it would great. The snow would be a great prop for the runway. <laughs> it would be great. I, I wish I could make it snow on the runway to now <laughs> because people would be like, oh my god, it's snowing inside the on the on the runway. It's uh, it's it's cool. You know what? It's uh, the sh we're a tough city. We still we still it does, weather does not stop us. A hurricane does not stop us. We will continue to move forward. So it's like, this is a snow. It's not a storm for me yet. It's just snow, you know? So it's like, we make it, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. We have a show to put on and a collection to present. And I'm excited about it. It kind of sets the tone for the first piece that you'll see on the runway. Absolutely, your collection was inspired largely by the Hurricane Sandy. So is it feeling like a good odom right now? Yeah, you know what, it's uh, slowing down. Slowing down. Slowing down. It's about embracing the moment and living in the moment. And I think that's, God, just putting a little sprinkle on top of my my, my thoughts, you Absolutely. know? Absolutely. He's cheering you on. Your collection life in a good way, yeah, a good way yeah? Go, yeah, go. Yeah, go, Caesar. Yeah. Your collection life suspended really shows a different side of your personality as a designer. What are you most excited to show? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm excited to tell the story. You know, it's like a poetic story that's put on the runway, and it's uh, it's uh, it's different for me. It's, it's a little darker. It's a little bit... It's a little bit in a different. It's a, the palette's different for me. The layering's different for me, and it's a, it's it's a it's a variety of texture. It's there's a lot going on, and I think it's really been focused and tightened up over and over again by my team and myself. And um, I'm excited to present it as a story, and that's part of the fun of designing a collection is being able to show it. You know, you're still social dressing, but do you think there's a particular piece, a print, a silhouette that the market will respond best to? I'm doing a lot of bubble hems. I mean, I'm doing the bubble hems in the tops and skirts, in uh, dresses, and, and in gowns. I did a bubble hem, and I did it in my collection for Caesar Galindo, and I'm doing it in Zar. Uh, I'm doing. I feel that's a, a a part of the relaxed attitude, of uh, uh, being fluid, and uh, and then I have a lot of layering pieces, and I'm doing some really fun faux fur too. So it's there's a lot going on, but it's it it all is a it's more of a collectible item driven collection where you want to be uh, impulsively the owner of the piece, you know, where you want to collect it and keep it. I, I think the biggest compliment for any designer is when someone doesn't want to get rid of what they have of yours. And that's part of the, of the, uh, the goal of this collection is just like, you know, you want to have a collectible, you know. You are pushing the boundaries and you have an interesting collaboration with Beth Beverly, a yeah. taxidermist. Is artist collaboration something you want to do again in the future? I love to collaborate with artists. I, uh, my jewelry designer is Jane Ruska. She designed the, the taxidermy. We did glass eye taxidermy eyes in the oh runway. God. They're beautiful. They're, wow. they're hand painted eyes. And they're, that's, part of, it's the, that's part of the Scaparelli inspirational part of what we're doing as far as like the surreal part of it. Uh, and, um, and yeah, I collaborate all the time with artists. All my team is a collaboration. I don't do this by myself. I have a team of people that support my vision and believe in it, and I believe in them. And we we all we all bounce our energy off of each other. That's how it all becomes what it is. And what are the trends we're going to be pulling off the runway and wearing in fall? Uh, shades of blue, I believe. Shades of blue. I, I believe I believe blue is a strong part of the palette. I I I also believe layering is a big part of fall. I mean that's 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 without to say and I believe convertible clothing is an important part of a wardrobe for the fall season climate changes uh, your coats three-quarter my the first coat you're gonna see is a convertible sleeve a convertible hood uh, it becomes a different piece for you so you can play with your clothing absolutely and finally you're one of the busiest men I think at Fashion Week what's next for you we know you're going back to reality TV what else can we expect to see um, I want to, I really want to, I really just want to become a global brand, you know. Uh, well, I want to be, and I want to distribute to the globe, you know. We got picked up by some incredible stores this last season uh, uh, in Russia, in Singapore, and in Paris, and, and even, in the, even in the Caribbean. But I want to get to more people. I want people to wear my work, you know. That's the biggest compliment any designer could have if someone's collecting your work and, and living it. And it's part of their life, you know, so. Global got domination with Cesar Galindo. There we go. <laughs> Global domination. Why not? Yeah. Why? Thank you. <laughs>